Hey guys, it's the Solar Coffee and today in Sarah, some Monster Legends of the video. We have a bunch of new leaked events as well as some new leaked monsters. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first leak we have are actually some brand new farm crops, which is very cool. The first one is the Monster Melon. It costs 180k and it gives 25k. And then you also get 90k XP for that one. So yeah, that one will be pretty decent for kind of lower end. And then we also have the Jade Apple, which will cost 800k and it will give 100k food. And it will also give 400,000 XP, which is quite a bit. Very, very good. And then we have the Dragon Pair, which will cost 2.5 mil gold. It will give 300,000 and it will give 1 million XP, which yeah, that one's pretty great as well. And then we have another one that will cost 3.2 mil and it will give 350,000 and it will give 1 million. Million XP, which is very good. And then the last one is the Carnivo Bloom. It will cost 4 million gold. It will give 400,000 food and 2 million XP, which is amazing. So, yeah, all of these are great. They'll give much more options to later game players, which is, of course, something that we really needed. So, yeah, cannot wait for all of those. And then we also have that there's going to be a back to school event with this monster right here, which looks very creepy. So, yeah, go ahead and try to get him, I guess. And you'll probably be able to get back to school chests as well. Those have not been leaked yet but they will almost most definitely be in the game so definitely try to get as many of those as possible and that will apparently be during next season since it has the next season pvp monster in the back and then we have all of the confirmed events for next season which is very very cool cannot wait for that season to start there's a lot of really cool stuff coming and then we have an upcoming monster named jocko which is pretty cool he's going to be an electric monster and then we have some stuff about the season four pass which we did already look over in one of my last videos pretty much you'll just be able to get 30 ancestral champion tokens which is really cool and the second pass gives you 40 so if you want as many as possible go and get both passes i guess i don't really think it's worth it though and then we also have the summer contest where you'll be able to fight in pvp and you can win stuff which is really cool go ahead and fight in pvp during this event since you probably should be fighting in pvp anyway and then we have the new multiplayer monster named jellymer we do have his design up here already he looks pretty great then we have that his trait is going to be immune to possession, immune to curse, and gain taunt, which is a decent trait. And we already looked at his moves in one of my last videos. He's not like super good, but he is decent, I guess. And then we have an image for the upcoming bounty hunt with the bounty hunt monster right there. He looks pretty cool. And then we also have a Dolores' design, which is another new monster. And yeah, she looks pretty cool as well. And then we have the golden graduation cap that you'll be able to find, and you'll pretty much just be able to get a mythic out of it probably yeah it'll contain a random abyssal or galactic mythic which is pretty cool so go and try to get these whenever you can and then we have a new chest called the treasure cave golden chest it will be inside of the treasure cave of course and you'll basically just get 200 gems which is amazing and it can also contain a random alpine monster 50 north berries 100 coralia and five ancestral relic chests which are all amazing stuff and especially the 200 gems too that is really amazing since that is guaranteed so definitely participate in the treasure cave event when it starts because that will be a very good event and then we have some upcoming uh, mini mazes we got teno kiaku and z sparks teno kiaku is pretty decent we also have powerful and max shroom max shroom is pretty decent and varumamu and melee not so yeah, go and do whatever ones of those you want to do and then the last but not least we have another treasure cave chest the silver treasure cave chest and it will contain a five or twenty cells of a random mythic from the last three generations which is pretty cool and yeah those are going to be all the leaks for this video let me know down in the comments what you guys are most excited for and i'll see you guys in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye